Look what I found. Whoa, you forgot to vlog. So we are just gonna keep doing what we're doing to try to keep my body as stable as possible for as long as possible. morning guys and happy Monday it is a snowy morning I it's just kind of like some magical snow flurries outside but uh, it's an exciting day because my little brother Joe is coming flying in in about an hour uh, to hang out with us for the week uh, so we're excited to have him and I am going to hop in the car and go pick him up Just arrived at the airport. I think my brother is at baggage claim. My brother and I are eight years apart. He is on a break from college. I think he goes back to college in like a week. So this was, there was a deal on flights and I was like, Joe, you wanna come visit? And so here we are. Joe brought his drone and um, I have my drone and I think we're gonna get some drone footage of drone footage this week. So, um, no, it might be pretty cool. I, I've actually, I, I've wanted to get footage of my drone in flight. Um, so that's, that's what, we've got lots of video ideas this week. Where are you, Joe? Look who I found. Whoa. <laughs> What's up? Say hi to the people. How's it going? It was Joe. We made it. All right. All right, Joe and I are on our way home. Mary ordered groceries at Walmart for us to pick up. And But Joe and I came to this barbecue place that looks really good. We're waiting for our food. We got some brisket and wings. Oh yeah. Um, Joe, we're, I was like asking Joe what he eats at school. And he's like talking about all this food he makes. It's like he lives in an apartment or whatever. And, um, I'm like, okay, I think we just decided that you're making food this week for us. So, Joe's, we have a live-in chef for the week. That's right. Oh, yeah. Good morning, guys. I heard that Peter and Joe started the vlog already, so that's cool. Um, while they were gone, I did all my morning stuff, and I'm eating a grapefruit now. I'm like... <laughs> I don't know whether to like stop eating grapefruit now for the future when I'm on other medications that I can't have grapefruit because I'm afraid I'm like building an addiction, mm. <laughs> which would be bad. But I don't think I'll be on those medications for quite some time. Um, after somebody has a transplant, they go on anti-rejection medications and you can't have grapefruit along with other medications, not just anti-rejection. Yeah. I think nice. even the new CF drugs Really? Yeah. Huh. Um, I think I with Kaleidico you can't. I think that the grapefruit and certain maybe other citrus fruits as well make you absorb oh, it's differently. Different. I don't know. Something. Yeah, I think it makes the drug more potent in your body. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's crazy. But anyway, that was random. Okay, I'm gonna Enjoy eat my grapefruit. grapefruit. Yeah, while well, I can. <laughs> And I know I've mentioned this before, but actually this is the seat where we sat when we talked about transplant for the first time a year ago. Um, at this point, my lungs are stable and we are very, very thankful for that. And because of that, I am in the safe zo safer zone and we are not currently having transplant conversations because of that. Um, so we are just gonna keep doing what we're doing to try to keep my body as stable as possible for as long as possible. And then whenever the day comes, whenever that is, we will talk about transplant again with my team and whatever centers we need to travel to to be evaluated at. But for now, um, I'm thankful and celebrating stability.
Joe needs a kiss. <laughs> Had a nice big sneeze on his face. Uh, well, you look like you just came in from a snowstorm. Well, I did. It's actually pretty no, warm in our house. It looks like in the vlog, I just ate brisket and now I'm eating it again. <laughs> yeah, they brought me some brisket back. So I just put it in the toaster oven on broil. And then we were just having some bread and it's good. And wow. we were going to go to Chick-fil-A, but then we had these appetizers and now we're like full. So we will just have to see what we get into. We've been, we've been making plans. You guys know if you've been around for a while, that our working room, as we call it, that's where we do all of our store orders. Except all the store orders we do right there. <laughs> <laughs> our working room gets to be a little bit of a disaster at times, and we don't have the best... Can you attest to that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have the best setup in there. So uh, we, all three of us went up there, and we were thinking through a plan for creating a better workspace in there. And so Joe and I might build something to... Uh, a workspace for us. So, you will you can take them to Lowe's and... Okay. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Focus. Nah, uh, yeah, let's get a card. Alright, Joe and I came to Lowe's. We dropped Mary at TJ Maxx so she didn't get bored while we shopped for manly things like wood and... Um, guys, in the snow, I don't know, if those of you around the summer, I built a fence gate for our driveway. Um, to fully fence in. Wow, they've got quite the clearance. Look at this. Wow. Um, so we fenced in the driveway, but then in the snow, in the snow plow, and it got knocked over and it got destroyed. So Joe and I are gonna try to dream up what to do with that. And there's a lot of clearance light bulbs, apparently. This is why we keep Joe around. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at these pallet boards, because that's kind of cool. It's like this rustic, they call it rustic pallet board, and it's like uh, manufactured ru rustic. Anyways, I was trying to figure out <laughs> what it meant, what dimensions it was. Oh, you found the dimensions. Uh, and he's like, didn't you bring a tape measure? I was like, yeah, I pulled it out, and it was the camera. And Joe goes, you forgot to vlog. <laughs> so, we are getting all kinds of wood. We're gonna, we, we've got the week projects for the week, that's for sure. But we're gonna make it happen. And we found, we're gonna make a desktop. Ouch, I just got a splinter, guys. It's rusted. <laughs> we added this, uh, this wood thing. That's gonna be the top. It's gonna be cool. Gotta get the ratchets ready for the wood on top of the car. Okay, we got home from our little errand. Oliver and I went to TJ Maxx. So the boys went to Lowe's. Anyway, I ordered some special groceries this time on our grocery haul. Um, Peter doesn't know what I ordered because I'm doing the tin can challenge. Have you guys ever seen that? So I need to convince them to do this challenge with me. Um, the tin can challenge, I'll have to like re-look it up because it's been a couple years since I've seen one. But you get tin cans of food and you take the labels off. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then you number them and then you take turns like choosing a number and tasting the things. But I'm thinking maybe what we do is we each take a bite of the can and guess what it is, and then whoever guesses right, or whoever guesses the least correct has to eat like a special smoothie, kind of like Rhett and Link do. Like, I don't know, we'll have to see, but for now I'm gonna take the labels off because I don't want them to see it. You guys, don't come in here. The funny thing about this kind of challenge, which same with baby food challenge, some people and some babies enjoy this food. So it's like, it's not, it's nothing against the foods per se. It's just that I have found that certain foods that say I grew up with, like 
chip beef gravy on toast. That's our kind of unique food, but I love it because I grew up with it and it's salty and squishy and I love that. But to some people who didn't grow up with that, that would be like disgusting and that would be part of their tin can challenge, you know? Um, so some of these things might be like your favorite food and that is totally cool. Actually, this one I actually really like, but they will not. So everybody's different with their food choices and depending on where you grew up, the family you grew up in, what you guys chose to eat, um, these might be your favorite foods. I don't know. So don't take it personally if you, if you also like this food, but they don't. I'm not gonna take it personally because it's whatever. Everybody's different. I think we're gonna do this challenge tomorrow. So stay tuned for the excitement. Hey look, Peter is rubbing off on me. I've left my coat on, even though I'm in the house. What? Hey, don't look. Oh. Peter! I did not see anything. I just, uh, I don't know why I came in. I don't either. I was looking for the remote. The remote? Yeah. I'm excited. We might discover new foods that we like. <laughs> but some of them are good, so don't be too worried. Well, if they sold um, pudding in a jar, I mean can, maybe. I haven't seen it, but there's that. Okay, some of them aren't a mystery because you can see through the package, but um, that's okay. Some will be a mystery and some won't. Good news. If we decide not to do this challenge for three years, the food is still going to be good. Oh, wait. 2020. Oh, two years. All right. Yeah. You want to share our latest late night secret? Well, when you're watching a cooking show late at night in bed, I'm just gonna warn you, this is a public service announcement, free of charge. You will want food. Even if you're not hungry. It's kind of a, it, we found it's like a perfect show for us to watch at bedtime, yeah. except for this minor detail. Well, but then we found the solution. Kettle corn, microwave popcorn. It fits all the categories, salty, sweet. Um, Crunchy. Yeah, all the things. Soft. Crunchy and soft all at the same time. So we're gonna eat some kettle corn, probably watch some baking show, and as, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. And one more little voice to say good night to. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night.